Okay, Mike. Here is a small little setup to show you what we got going. I spread it out on a pallet, so it's a little bit easier to uh, see. Um, here's the charger that I'm using today. That's currently not plugged into the AC. There's no lights on, and it is not connected to anything. Then we've got the quad link. It also is not connected to the charger. And there are no lights on because we are not connected to any batteries. And we've got the four batteries set up. We've got some motorcycle batteries where need charging, so I just pulled them off the shelf. Um, as you can see, none of them are connected in. I got the four leads pulled out. Now the voltages on each battery <coughs> are of uh, the proper voltage. They're all probably going to be mid to high 12s here because um, they, they've already been on charger. But um, yes, yeah, so that one's 1285, battery number one. Battery number two is 1289. Battery number three is 1296. And battery number four is 1291. So we, we've got good voltage there. Um, and then if I collect uh, battery number one onto the system, that's this one, we'll watch the quad link light, which again is not connected to the AC. We've now got one light now blinking, and it's just onto the the post there. We get battery number two and number three getting connected. The lights will start getting solid lights, <clears throat> and then number four will come on. So the number one will be the where the charge will actually start once we get a charger going and then two three and four are the ones that are acknowledged by the quad link that there's a, a power source there a battery that needs to get charged and it will come through so as we connect the um, unit to the charger we'll see that um, nothing happens on the charger obviously because the charger is still not plugged into the AC and I just thought about this, we may not be able to reach the plug. Okay. Alright, so we just got that over to the AC plug. The lights came on, and this particular charger is a pulse charger. It is a pulse tech unit, and it's now showing that it's, you know, 25%, and it's currently working on the first battery in the system. And if we go ahead and unplug battery number two and three, so the two lights in the middle should disappear. And indeed they do. So now the sequence would go from that first battery to the fourth one, back to the first one, back to the fourth one, you know, if, if we let it here sit for ten minutes on the, on the video. And because these are already charged, the charger is now up to 75% and it's going to go up quickly uh, during that system. So that's how it's supposed to set up. This particular unit I'm looking at is actually the one you sent back to us um, and that we've been using now for several weeks and everything seems to be working fine. So as you can see, we have no battery connected there, no battery connected there. That was battery two and three. Number four is still connected and number one is still connected and the lights match accordingly.